Hello everyone. This video will show the general rule for transformation of function. That includes the piecewise functions. If y is equal to f of x is a function, then the equation in graphing form transformations of this function can be written as y equals a f of b of x minus h plus k, where our a, b, h, and k are parameters. We remember that the parameter A vertically stretches or compresses a, the graph, while the uh, parameter B horizontally stretches or compresses the graph. On the other hand, this parameter A vertically reflects the graph. So it's either it's going to reflect the graph upside down, while the B reflects the graph horizontally. So it's going to reflect the graph side to side. On the other hand, our parameter h horizontally translates the graph, while the k will vertically translate the graph. So using this equation that we have right here, so how do we transform a piecewise function? Now let's look at some examples. In this example, we are given the graph of f of x. Again, this is an example of a piecewise function. Our task for this part is to determine or sketch the graph of 2 f of x. Our first step is to determine points or we call those lattice points on this function. Lattice points are points on the Cartesian coordinate plane where the values of x and y are integer. So an example of a lattice point would be this dot right here. This is called lattice point because our x value here is negative 8 while, while our y value is negative 3. This is another lattice point here. So the x value is negative 7 and the y is 0. Now I'm going to plot more lattice points on this function. Okay, I'm going to determine the coordinates for each of these points. So this is negative 8, negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. So that's negative 8, negative 3. Again, this is our x and this is our y value f of x. The next dot right here is negative 7, 0. So this is negative 7, 0. Now I'm going to determine the coordinates for the rest of these dots. Okay, since we wanted to sketch the graph of 2f of x, what are we going to do is I will write it down here, and this column right here would be for 2f of x. To determine the values for each of these boxes here, we are going to multiply this f of x by 2, or we will double it. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 3 is positive 6. 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to do that for the rest of these boxes. Okay, the next task is to sketch the graph of x and the 2f of x. So that means I'm going to put the dot for negative 8, negative 6. So negative 8, negative 6, the dot is going to sit right here. The second dot is negative 7, 0. So that's negative 7, 0 is this dot. The next dot is negative 6, positive 6. So that goes all the way up here. And then we also have negative 4, 4. So that's negative 4 and positive 4. So it's going to sit here. And then we have negative 2 and 2. So negative 2 and positive 2. And then we also have negative 1 and 4, so negative 1 and positive 4. And then we have 0 and 6, so 0 goes all the way to 6. And then we have uh, 1 goes through 8, and it's going to sit right here. And then the last one is 2 goes to 10, so it's going to go up here. And we will connect the dots together. If you notice, our value 2 or the coefficient 2 here corresponds to the parameter A. Remember that parameter A vertically stretches or compresses the graph. In this case here, this graph was vertically stretched. 
So looking at this graph right here, our original function is f of x, and this original function was vertically stretched. Just imagine if this original function were a rubber band, this graph, if this were the graph here, it, it was actually vertically stretched. That's the reason why the graph looks a little skinny. The red graph looks skinnier compared to that of the original graph. That's it. If you find this video helpful, consider hitting the like button and consider subscribing for more math videos. See ya.